I don't know if you can see them there, but we have frogs all over this place now. So that's okay. They eat, they eat the bugs. All right, so the FedEx man just dropped off our uh, blue tilapia. So I'm going to open it up and put them in the, uh, the breeding tank. Well, we may or may not have a problem here. See, what we ordered was 20 breeding size blue tilapia. And as you can see, uh, we've obvi obviously have more than 20 in here. And these are not the size that they told us they would be. So now I'm kind of concerned that maybe this is not a 50-50 mix. And this might be just, um, you know, just some regular blue tilapia. But the whole point of this exercise was to get some females so we could start breeding these tilapia. So we're going to have to get in touch with the supplier and uh, figure out what's going on here. So I have these tilapia acclimating in the tank right now. As you can see, I'm uh, bombarding them with air inside the baggie uh, while, they, um, while they acclimate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the pH of the water that the fish came in uh, against the pH of the, of the tank to make sure it's not uh, too big of a difference. And then I will, uh, in about an hour, I will set these guys free in the tank if uh, everything looks right. Okay, so the pH in the bag, which is here, uh, looks like it's about a 7.2 uh, pH, and this is the pH in the tank, and it's already, it's off the scale, so I'd have to do a high range pH. Uh, so I know they're different, and uh, they're gonna be different enough to where I'm gonna add cups of water from the tank and put it into the bag, uh, just, just to try to get them a little used to the pH uh, that's, that, that, that they're gonna be introduced to. So over the course of an hour or so, I'm gonna be adding a couple cups of water into the bag just to um, get them acclimated correctly. So I'll be doing that and I'll be back with you. All right, so they've been sitting in the bag acclimating in this tank for about an hour and uh, I've been uh, slowly adding uh, this higher pH water into this lower pH water. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the air stones and introduce the fish. All right, so they've been introduced. And yeah, there is way more than 20 in here. So I'm, I'm pretty convinced that this is not the correct order. So uh, we're gonna have to uh, get in touch with the, with the supplier and uh, see what's up. Well, it looks like we have one dead fish. So uh, one out of however many are in here, that's not too bad. So I think I'm, what I think I'm gonna do is get an exact count. So I'm gonna set the camera up and take a snapshot so I can uh, kind of take a census and see about how many fish we have in this tank. Okay, so last week's video was running a little long, so I didn't have time to get the greenhouse update in, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do uh, today. Um, as you can see, the tomato plants are just just growing crazy. Um, I had to stick this line up um, before to uh, help support the tomato plants because they were getting so top heavy. You see the, the stems down here are not as thick as the stem up here. Uh, so I just use a plant clip and uh, then I had to add another line that goes up to the top of the greenhouse to get these to grow straight up. So uh, that, you know, that's fine. Um, it's, uh, it's working out pretty good. So uh, yeah, so I, I had these uh, set these stakes. Uh, it's just a thin metal covered in plastic and that's how I'm staking up my uh, cherry tomatoes. See them all right here. This one's getting pretty big. I'm starting to get some flowers here. So I'll be expecting some tomatoes here uh, pretty quick. Um, now on these, uh, on these, to, uh, big ones, you can see the tomatoes are already coming in pretty well. There's some here, uh, there's some right there, they're growing pretty good. Um, some right there, so I, I really do have tomatoes all over these plants. And these are the I, I forget what they're called, but they're the yellow ones that kind of they're kind of teardrop shape. Uh, I got these uh, just as seedlings and I uh, had them inside for a while and then I had to move them out. So, um, but yeah, but you can see this, there's just there's flowers all over all these plants. And it's doing really well. I want to show you the uh, bush bean down here. It's um, I kind of uh, I wasn't expecting to be covered this much, but so the bush bean is actually really covered. But you can see, like uh, here, here's a there's a bean. I'm just gonna pull this off and have it for breakfast, I guess. Uh, but I just snap the end off here. You know, I'm not using any any uh, insect repellent or you know, herbicides or pesticides or anything like that. So this is all clean and, and good to go. Yeah, that's excellent. But um, I don't know if you can see it through all this stuff, but that right down there is actually a pole bean. And as you can see, it is just crawling up the trellis here. 
and then I just added this string that will go from there up to the greenhouse and to the other side. So I uh, I don't see why it wouldn't grow grow that that much. It's been I mean this thing's just been growing so much uh, over the past week. Uh, it's really really blowing my mind. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is one of the uh, the cuttings I did. I, now th these little th these. I don't know, they're just a mess of like a, like a couple flowers going together, but I don't know if it's, they're going to produce anything or not, but I hope they will because uh, the flowers are so big. This is another cutting. It's growing another mess of those flowers, just right in the middle there. It's kind of, I don't know, I don't know if it's deformed or, or what, but it's, you know, hopefully, hopefully we get something off of it. Cucumber bush, just growing up the, growing up the trellis, same with... Same with this one in there. Back there, it's just growing all the way up. So I cut the bell peppers off uh, these plants because uh, they were starting to turn red and they weren't going to get much bigger. So I decided, oh hell, I'll just take them off. And uh, I put them in uh, the salad last night. And, you know, they, they, they tasted excellent. But you can see that the growth is really starting to take off in here after I cut off those, uh, those other bell peppers. So we'll let them go and see what happens. The habanero plants are starting to take off as I thought they would. So that's really well, or, or really good. Uh, this this tomato, this tomato, you can see some tomatoes in there. Again, this tomato's doing really well. I have, I have some more uh, cuttings. That, these are just suckers that I took off the plant that I would let, you know, grow to, you know, a, a decent size and then pull them off and just plant them in and they're doing well. Uh, the tomato towers are just taken off, or the strawberry towers. Uh, they're, they're, the, the roots are starting to grow down into separate chambers, but the uh, the water's still moving through, so uh, it's not a, it's, you know, it's not a deal breaker yet, but uh, we'll see. The uh, deep water culture bed, uh, the lettuce, still doing great, you know, as expected. And as you can see from last week, we have a bunch of little uh, seedlings coming up, little sprouts. So um, there's a lot of them in each one. So I'll have to thin them out, you know, as best as I can. Or I'll thin them out once the, once the dominant uh, seedling comes up. And, uh, and then we'll have another uh, set of lettuce. So that's pretty exciting. So thanks for watching this video guys. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can find links to our Facebook fan page at, uh, on our website at hdaquaponics.com. You can also follow me uh, on Twitter at hdaquaponics. So uh, until next week guys.